very idea is inconceivable. Oh, yes. I'm the Dean of History, and scribe work is when I can pass it by time. The finest fish here. Arms and arms. I've got a little interesting taste of home and heart. Good evening. I'm Pantia Atia, the master vocalist. Unless we have specific business, I'm not interested. Thane Bryling, at your service. Is everything all right? I've not heard from Sorley or Pactor in some time. That's good news. I was starting to fear something had happened. You have my thanks. It's been an honor. Oh, hello. Just tidying up. I swear to you, unnatural magics are coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hafengar's people will always be safe under my rule. Your Eminence, my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragon Bridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for? Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragon Bridge. Thank you, Yar Elisif. But about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Barnius. You can rest easy. You're dismissed. I've got what I came for. I better get back to Dragonbridge. 
I've done my part. Dragon Bridge will have extra guards. Folk Firebeard will find a way to take care of the cave. I'd better get going. If you have business, please see Falk Firebeard, my steward. Because that's what traitorous cowards do when they desire power. Ulfric coveted the High King's throne. He thought he deserved it more than Torig. And so he came before my husband and he... He shouted. With that terrible voice. Like something out of a legend. Or a nightmare. When Ulfric unleashed such fury, my husband, he... He simply ceased to be. That is all I will say. For it grieves me to speak of it. Not yet, no. Although it is true my husband Torig was the High King, and I am his widow. Now is not the time to lay claim to such a title. This land is riven by war, and her people suffer for it. The Stormcloaks are a blight on Skyrim, and like any blight, must be purged. Only then will I take my rightful place as High Queen. Hmm. A question I am all too familiar with. One my very thanes ask often. They worry that Tullius is so focused on the war that he risks forgetting what's best for our people. The real irony is that, while General Tullius is certainly no Nord, the people of Skyrim would be lost without him. Trust is always difficult, especially for my people. Yet we must trust in Tullius' leadership. For what other choice do we have? Oh, I thought that matter was handled. I think Falk is taking care of that. Be well. Pray for solitude and my husband. Please address all questions to the steward, Falk Firebeard. The Imperials are good for business, and business is good for Skyrim. Oh, most certainly. At least when Elisif herself asks. If you're inquiring whether we have concerns about her age and inexperience, uh, let me put it this way. The Thanes have every confidence in General Tullius's leadership. I'm a Thane. In the future, you may want to gain that information before talking with someone. Risk of looking like an idiot and all that. I must return to the court. They simply can't make do without me. Do you have business with the court? The Jarl has put out a bounty on some bandits. Here, take a look at this decree for details. You mean the Dragon Bridge issue? I'll be honest with you, I was planning to let that go. Varnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolfskull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights. I suspect wild animals, or perhaps bandits. I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. But if you want to clear out the cave, I'll make sure you're repaid for your work. The cave has a bad history. Long ago, Potema the Wolf Queen used it for necromantic rituals. That's where it got the name. That was over 500 years ago. Nothing much down there now. But everyone's always convinced the cave is haunted. That remains to be seen. By rights, she has a legitimate claim as High Queen of Skyrim. But we must have the support of the other Jarls for that claim to have any meaning. Should they accept her rule, we will have peace. Of course he does. What sort of a question is that? Maybe you've been listening to Eriker. There's been loose talk among some of the Thanes, and I suspect he's the cause of it. You'll pay those rumors no heed if you wish to retain your welcome in this city. She may be young, but Elisif is the Jarl by right. 
And here in Skyrim, if nothing else, we respect the traditions of our father's fathers. You do well to remember that. Feel free to return to me with questions. The Blue Palace is an open forum. Be quick. If I needed something from you, you would know it. Nothing. I'm busy, and I don't like being bothered unless I'm expecting something from you. Oh, don't give me that look. Fine, I suppose I can find some menial task to set your mind on. Hmm. We have something of a vampire problem. Bodies have been found with blood drained. I know of a den nearby you can wipe out as a precaution. I don't expect you to be capable of even that. I was a member of the court during the reign of Torg's father. It was Torg who appointed me to the position. Very. I helped raise him. Oh, I could not have been more proud to see Torg on the throne. He made a fine king. A fine king. I was to my shame. The whole court was in attendance. I've seen much in my time, but that was a gruesome day. Because Ulfric needed a symbol. Someone he could defeat that represented the Empire. The White Gold Concordat. The banning of Talos worship. Torig's father Islot had held Skyrim together for nearly 25 years. When he died, Torg became that symbol. No, even after Islot died, the Moot voted to make Torig High King of Skyrim. But Ulfric was at that Moot continually talking about Skyrim's independence in terms just shy of treason. I don't think Ulfric knew how much Torg respected him for that. If Ulfric had asked Torg directly to stand up, to declare independence, Torg might have done it. Because the Dominion is a sleeping beast that Skyrim cannot slay alone. Because many Nords are part of the Imperial Army even now. Because the food and resources we get from the Empire are important to our people. Because even if we can't openly worship him, Talos the god was once Tiber Septim the man, and this is his empire. And Torg wasn't ready to let it fall apart. I can teach you, but I won't be held responsible for what you do with the knowledge. Vampires are clever hunters. More clever than you, definitely. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard? Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort there. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Fate is the name. I keep the inn. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Let me know if there's anything else you need.
Respect the law, and you'll have no trouble in Dragonbridge. Why sure is that... Is that a Zora star? Take this and hold on to it. I'll be back for it later. I'll pay you good. Don't lose it. No time to talk. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it.
Did you see someone run past just now? Well, if you do, grab him and yell. Bastard stole from me. Mm -hmm.
Yes. I have so very many ways to deal with people. Very few of them pleasant. Filthy creatures, aren't they? Living in the darkness like they do. So uncivilized. I prefer finery, like this. Here, for your trouble. And I suppose I should show you a little about illusion magic for free, shouldn't I? Take care of yourself, and always remember, the world is ripe with people looking to spill your blood. <laughs> <laughs> 